The development of the General Motors Fisher P-75 Eagle was started in 1942, to meet a demand from the United States Army Air Forces for a fighter with an extremely high rate of climb. The P-75 used the powerful, liquid-cooled Allison V-3420 engine. A contract for two prototypes was signed in October 1942. The prototypes were designated XP-75, and were developed by the Fisher Body Division of General Motors. The XP-75 combined elements from the North American P-51 Mustang, the Douglas A-24 and the Vought F-4U Corsair, and had a layout much like the Bell V-39 Era Cobra. Six more XP-75, modified for the long-range role were ordered in mid-1943, as the need for long-range escort fighters became more urgent than fast-climbing interceptors. An order for 2,500 production P-75As was made, but with the stipulation that if the first P-75A was not satisfactory, the complete order might be cancelled. At the time of development, the media gave the P-75 attention as a wonder plane, Although there are sources that claim that the P-75 was used by General Motors to avoid the added strain of being forced to build B-29 superfortresses. The XP-75 flew for the first time November 17, 1943, with the second XP-75 following shortly thereafter. By spring 1944, a test program with all six long-range XP-75s was initiated. The test program revealed many problems with the design, including problems with the center of mass, low power output from the engine, inadequate engine cooling, high aileron forces and poor spin characteristics. Most of the problems were corrected by September 1944, when the first P-75As entered flight testing. However by this time, the U.S. Army Air Forces had decided to limit the number of operational aircraft types, and did not want to initiate large-scale production of new types before the war was over. The P-38 Lightning and the P-51 Mustang had proved excellent in the long-range escort role, and the production of the P-75 was terminated in October 1944. In total, 8 XP-75 and 6 P-75As were produced.